This is meant to be a, just a real simple bench test like I do with all my turbines. Today we're doing it on the Healy 2.0. I have got this machine wired up to my rectifier, to a meter, and then it goes through this cable to my board over here, which is uh, soon to be replaced. I've just got it connected to the battery inputs, basically goes to the battery and then it goes through these two inverters. These two inverters are active, so what's gonna happen is after I start turning this thing and it starts generating power, it's going to uh, ramp up a little bit and then it's gonna come back down as the inverters try and increase the load and find a balance between what they can get out of it and what the the turbine can produce. Uh, I'm gonna do an open voltage test right now. It's a quick turn by hand. Okay, we're gonna put the drill on it. We're gonna see if we can get an RPM reading as well. One more time. Roughly 1100 RPM at the very top. And now we're going to do the loaded test. Now I've left the hub on the, on the turbine just to make it easier for me to get a good reading on RPM. I think. I don't know if I'll be able to do, you know, turn it and hold my, my meter at the same time. Uh, if I can't, then I will go back whenever I look at, uh, whenever I check all this video out and I will slow it down and I'll get the RPM off of that. Uh, so that's where we are. I'm going to do two. I'm going to, you know, show one of me turning it just so that you guys can see the kind of effort I had to put into it. And then I'm going to do one of just showing the meter. I don't know how accurate that was, but it seems like it's reading 289.2 RPM. That seems a little higher than what I was uh, what I was doing, so I'm going to I'm going to check that. Wonder if I can slow the video down. Okay, get you guys pointed over here. You can see the meter. Hopefully, Let's see how much closer I can get. the drill cool off just a second and try that again. The uh, drill slipped off the chuck.
What did we peak at? 346. Okay. Peaked at 346 watts. Now, no, that's not very impressive, but it was only turning about 200 RPM uh, outside in the wind. It's going to get up going better than that. I do want to note that about 350 watts is the most I've been able to pull out of a bench test using that drill. So that's uh, it's up there with the highest scoring turbines I've done so far, which is what I expected. Uh, now, I do plan on maybe at some point trying to take this apart so I can show you guys what the, the rotor and the coils look like. Uh, that's usually the way I do it, but I might have to employ my machinist to do it. I tra already tried to pull it apart. And uh, it is pressed together really solidly. Uh, I, I usually have a, a machinist help me out with this kind of stuff whenever I, I get in that kind of situation. But he is he's laying low right now. I don't know if he'll be willing to help me before it's time for me to put this thing up in the air. So that's that for now. Uh, as always, if you guys find this stuff interesting, amusing, entertaining, or what have you, please subscribe so you can get updates to whenever I'm doing new videos. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching.